you are back with comedian David Boyle, and I'm quitting alcohol. So, Conor McGregor took a fucking whooping today, and I'm a bit fucking gutted, actually, even though I like Poirier as well. Poirier's a fucking great dude. He fucking chopped McGregor's leg up today. I remember watching the Max Holloway Poirier fight a few years back, and Dustin Poirier just fucking dismantled Holloway. And I was like, this cunt is one tough motherfucker. I'm like, he's going to be fucking hard to beat at all times. And then he fought Khabib, and Khabib beat him pretty easily. That's how fucking good Khabib is. He beat Poirier, Gaethje, and McGregor without really breaking too much of a sweat. I would have liked McGregor to win because it's fucking more exciting. It's more entertaining watching Conor McGregor. That's the whole thing about him. But he definitely didn't seem like the same fucking fighter he was. And how could you be? It must be so fucking hard being a billionaire, getting off your personal yacht that is the size of a fucking cruise ship, and walking down to the octagon to get your car fucking mangled by raw bone. I can barely motivate myself to change the channels on the TV. Now, I don't want to be doing any slandering, because who knows? Maybe one day, Conor McGregor develops a little bit of a drinking problem on the old proper 12, then thinks to himself, I might need a little bit of help here. Let's see what's happening on Spotify. I need to quit alcohol. What pops up? I'm quitting alcohol by David Boyle. McGregor turns to the Boyle for help. I don't want him to get like 617 days into the podcast and then hear me, his biggest fan, start slandering him. I don't think he would be able to recover from something like that. But here's my advice. Start posting some more shit on social media with your fucking t-shirt on. And buy a Toyota Corolla and take some pictures standing next to that. Enough with the Lamborghinis and the super yachts. It's enough. There is only so much people can take of that before the negative energy getting sent your way becomes too much to bear. Real billionaires keep it fucking low key. Can you imagine Warren Buffet on a fucking super yacht? Just in tight little undies, you can see the outline of his package, shirt off, Gold chains, tiger sitting next to him, just selfies on Instagram. You just got to keep it low key, Connor. What I would do now is I'd go back, finish my plumbing apprenticeship, spend a few years digging ditches, still fight on the side, but your main focus now is plumbing. A couple of long Irish winters on the tools will get that fucking fire burning again, I can guarantee you. But that fucking UFC, I tell you what, that is the only sport I watch where I'm like, I would not even attempt it. Professionally, I mean. Like, when I'm watching it, I'm not giving them any instructions in there. Every other sport in the world, I'm given instructions, and honestly, in my heart of hearts, I feel like if they threw me in, I could be competitive. I would at least give it a go. Like, if they threw me in the NBA for like five minutes, I feel like I could at least stand around and look like I'm doing something. If I was to play Federer at tennis, I reckon I could hit a few balls back, maybe one. Like, you know what I mean? I probably wouldn't beat Federer, but I would definitely attempt playing him. I would attempt most professional sports. If they threw me out in ice hockey for a little while, even though I've never ice skated at all, I feel like I could sit in the goals and block some shit. Obviously, I can't. Obviously, professionals are that much better than your fucking average Joe. That's why they're professionals. But that's not how I feel. But when I'm watching the UFC, I'm like, nah. Even if you dragged me into the octagon against my will, I would be trying to climb the fence immediately. I would not be in there ever under any circumstances. Like I trained jujitsu for like six months, eight months or something like that. And I went down a couple of times for the boxing and the kickboxing side of it. I sucked at the jujitsu as well. I sucked at everything. But I was like, I want to go down and see what the boxing and the kickboxing side is like. So I bought some gloves and they threw me in. I got paired up with this guy who was about to have his first UFC fight in like a month. Not UFC, fucking MMA. He wasn't in the UFC. This was just your average run-of-the-mill psycho. This wasn't professional psycho. So we were doing this drill and it was like punch, punch, kick for 30 seconds or a minute or something like that. So there was one person throwing two punches and kicking and the other person 
had his hands up blocking the punches and then blocking the kick. And so this psycho is running me through it and I tell him, I'm like, I've never done this before. Can you just fucking let us know what I need to do? He's like, all right, put your hands up. He's like, what we're going to do is I'm going to throw a punch, then another one and then kick and you just check my kick. And I'm like, "Uh, excuse me, what do you mean by check your kick? And he's like, you've got to check my kick. And I'm like, how do I check your kick? He's like, you put your leg up and when I'm kicking, you block it with your leg. And I'm like, do I have to use my leg to check your kick? Because that sounds like it's going to fucking hurt. And he's like, no, it doesn't hurt. Just chuck your leg out. It'll be fine. So anyway, the drill starts. Obviously, this cunt starts first. I put my hands up. We're meant to be going at like 30%. He punches me into my glove. My own glove almost knocks me out. Then he punches the other side. My other glove almost knocks me out. And then he kicks me in the fucking thigh. And my... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> my leg almost exploded. And then he did that for the next minute. And I'm like, I'm like, fucking hell. I wasn't wearing a mouth guard or anything. My teeth are fucking chattering in my head. He's kicking my left thigh and then my right thigh. I can't lift my leg even after the first kick to check it. Checking it is no fun either. And then the bell goes. I'm almost concussed and I can barely walk. And now it's my turn. And so I'm throwing punches. They weren't exactly punches. I was tapping him gently. And then I was kicking him and I don't know how to kick. So I was just kicking him like a fucking footy almost. And he would check my fucking kick and I would get injured. And after that first round, I was pretty much like, that's me done. That's my UFC dream finished. I'm over. I'm done. And they're like, there's only five more rounds left. Keep the pace up, boys. I'm like, I don't think I can get through five rounds of this 30% pace. But I did. I copped it. But by like round three, I was just standing there, just getting beaten up. That's all I was doing. I was just trying to stand there. I barely had my hands up. He was just punching me in the head. I wasn't checking his kicks. He was just punching me in the head and kicking me in the thighs. And then after that one session, I did not turn up to another boxing or kickboxing training ever. I could barely walk for the next three or four days, but what really got into my head was he was only going at 30%. This was some guy who had never fought MMA before in his life. He was about to have his first fight. I was like, all right, that guy was almost murdering me at 30%. He's just your average Joe. How much better is someone who is actually fighting? I'm not even talking about in the UFC. I'm talking about someone who's just fighting. So there's another level above this guy. And then there's like maybe eight or nine levels above that cunt to get to the UFC. How good are those guys? I really did not even want to think about how good those guys are. That's why I never shit on UFC fighters. You can't do it. Even today when Connor was getting his leg chopped up, I wasn't even going, why isn't he checking these kicks? I know why. Because it fucking hurts. Anyway, that is it for tonight. If you're enjoying the podcast, give it a share around with your friends. Recommend it to people. Give us a review and I'll see you the fuck later.